if you've followed me long enough, you know that I absolutely hate eye creams unless it is a treatment type of product. And normally I don't really use eye creams, but in this video, I want to talk about two products that I actually use and actually love. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Bahar and I'm excited about sharing my knowledge and personal experiences about skincare with you. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you too can join our community. When it comes to eye creams, it's one of those products where I really don't believe in it unless, again, it has a type of treatment purpose. And I have tried a few eye creams, one where I actually bought an eye cream that was supposed to be hydrating but it literally felt like the same consistency of my moisturizer so I basically paid extra for a very smaller and overpriced moisturizer so I'm never doing that again and I also once bought a product that was actually very hyped it was said to be very good for brightening your under eyes it had vitamin c in it it is a very 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 famous brand which i am not going to talk about here but it did nothing absolutely nothing for my under eyes so in conclusion when it comes to eye creams I am very picky. At the same time, I wanted a product that was a treatment for my dark circles, but I also was skeptical whether or not a product would actually work because I used products that people said, oh, this worked wonders for my under eyes, and it absolutely did nothing for me, so. But now, I think that I have found two products that I actually enjoy and I think I will repurchase first for my AM routine when it comes to my morning routine I like to use something that has caffeine in it that helps to wake up my eyes a little bit more because I am very very sleepy in the morning so a product that I have been using and actually like very much is the Inculus caffeine eye cream I absolutely love this one I actually also like the one from the ordinary but I like this one better because one the consistency is lighter compared to the one from ordinary the ordinary and the ordinary <laughs> was a very big packaging and I could not finish it so I ended up throwing out the rest because it had expired which broke my heart a lot but this one is only 15 milliliters, which is half of what The Ordinary is <laughs> uh, presenting. I know that might seem better, but for me personally, you may finish it, but me, I did not finish it in time, even though I was using it every single day in the morning, but I still wasn't able to finish it. And I think it was a waste of product and a waste for money. And I like, smaller packages when it comes to eye cream because I don't use a lot of it. Next, my PM routine. When it comes to my nighttime routine, I would normally use my gel moisturizer because, well, I didn't want to pay extra for a tiny moisturizer that is advertised as a hydrating eye cream, so I would just use my gel moisturizer on this area. But I wanted a product that had a retinol in it or something to help with my dark circles. But any product that I would come across was more specifically made for people that had, well, more wrinkles that I don't. And I was honestly afraid that it would be too harsh for my under eyes because I personally have very, very, very sensitive eyes and it will react very easily to harsh products so i was on the hunt for a product until i found it retinol is an ingredient that we all know we all love and honestly it's not overhyped it helps with your acne it helps with brightening your skin it helps with collagen production and anti-aging 
But when it comes to your eye area, it can be a little bit irritating because it is a very harsh active and your eye area is thinner than the rest of your face. So you need to be a bit more careful. So this product is a great alternative. This is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Pus Retinol Eye Serum. Not retinol, retinol. Retinol is, you could say, retinol's cousin. It does the exact same thing. It helps with anti-aging, it helps with brightening your skin, but it is less irritating and it also works faster than retinol because it takes less time for it to be activated and this ingredient list made it as to slowly release the retinol onto your skin which makes it even less irritating which in conclusion it is the best product you can use for your dark circles i have been using it for the past month and honestly i absolutely love it i still have a little bit of dark circles but they have improved a lot but I don't use it every single night. Even though retinol is less irritating than retinol, you still need to be a little bit careful because again, your eyes is a very sensitive area and I use it maybe once to twice a week and on the other nights, I still use my gel moisturizer to moisturize my under eyes. And again, because I have very sensitive eyes, more than other people probably, I try to be more careful with this and not use it as frequently, especially because my eyes are not <laughs> used to active. So for now, I'm using it once to twice a week, but I will probably start using it maybe two to three times a week, not more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below what's your favorite eye cream.